<laughs> Every week we ask you guys to send in your ideas to the website about people or issues that you think deserve some attention. And I've received a number of emails about one man in Los Angeles, Bob Baker, who has touched so many lives, lives but in an unusual way. So we went to see for ourselves. Bob Baker just celebrated his 81st birthday. And though his fingers are not as nimble as they used to be, his passion for his craft is far from worn. Every time I would get out of the puppets, something would bring me right back to it. He's the founder of the Bob Baker Marionette Theater downtown, the longest running children's theater in Los Angeles. The theater has been on First Avenue since 1963. And after 42 years, he's seen more than just familiar faces. We're getting people now coming that had, were here 30 years ago, bringing their, their children or their grandchildren. I've been bringing my class here every year for the last 20 years. The theater is also a makeshift museum of his past. We have lots of pictures on the wall of the, our past and how we started. We were on the first all-commercial show, preceding Bob Hope. We were on the first kinescope. We were on the first coast-to-coast, -coast, first color on both NBC and CBS because of dis different systems. So I feel it was kind of good to have some of the first. All of his puppets are built on site. We happen to deal mainly in string puppets or marionettes. The word comes from Little Mary's uh, in Italian. She'll build this up with some material and this up here and then this will hang from the body. Back in, in this, in this area <clears throat> is where Ursula does most of the costume work. I, uh, how much Patrick does a work. costume like this cost? Well, an average marionette, uh, a professional marionette will start between $1,500 to $5,000 a piece. Each one takes about 350 hours to make and each show involves about 100 different puppets. What is it that keeps you going for all of these years? What really keeps me going is not the money, but making children laugh, make them smile, playing for older people. They come to life and they'll wave to the puppet, they'll talk to the puppet. What do you think of the show? Oh my God, I loved every moment of it. I can't believe I've lived this long and not seen anything like that before. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. What is it that they respond to? Basically, we want to all believe. That's the thing, and we're taught not to believe as we get older. And when they see a little puppet, they, they, they begin to believe he's real. And the question he gets often... They say, when are you going to retire? And I said, well, I really don't want to take up a hobby. <laughs> I've already got one. <laughs> and I probably, until I pull the last string, the Bob Baker Marionette Theater has been on the corner of Glendale Boulevard and West First for over 40 years. And in order to maintain it, they're desperately looking for sponsorship. They're having financial trouble. So if you want to reach them, you can go to www.bobbakermarionettes.com. And I've never been to a marionette show before, but I have to tell you, it's, it's amazing. I mean... We, and I'm puppets not five are years so old. low tech, and kids love them, and so do grown-ups. I mean, they're just—they're mesmerizing. Yeah, look at look okay. this, this is one that um, yeah. Emmett brought back from Italy for our floor director Neil, and we thought we'd bring it out to you not know, quite as sophisticated. Not quite as sophisticated, but they really are—they are amazing. So 